In this example, we'll look at a simple faceted reflector design for an LED lamp, and we start with a surface that was imported from an IGES file. And we'll use the surface to construct a thick faceted reflector out of a solid body. Using the feature manager, we can see each step of the process used to imprint the surface of our faceted reflector into the solid body. We can create both a front and a back surface. And then delete the original surface to create a finished faceted reflector. We can now insert this part into an assembly file. And we can see that we've already attached three LEDs to the rear surface of our faceted reflector. Now these LEDs were created using the Apex Light Source Manager and we can see the level of detail contained in each of these three sources. We can now view results from a ray trace performed on our LED lamp system. We can show the rays from the ray trace. And in this case, we performed an analysis of the intensity in the far field. And we can see our spots diagram showing in direction cosine space the ray directions for our three LEDs shown here in red, green, and blue. We can again quickly look at a 2D intensity map, again plotted here in direction cosine space, as well as a 3D contour plot showing the far field intensity. In this case, we've traced about 30,000 rays and we can see the effects of sampling in the far field intensity plot, but we can immediately post-process our results to include a simple average of the far field intensity as shown here. And this average gives us a better sense of the actual far field performance of the system. So this is a quick look at a ray trace performed on an LED lamp system using a faceted reflector constructed from an original imported surface.